wind. The power of the Nile and the will of men, these were the only available resources of energy for ancient Egyptians. With a lot of effort, sweat, and ingenuity, the people of Egypt were able to build the greatest civilization humanity has ever known. Three thousand years later, with a population of over 85 million, Egypt has developed landmark projects including the High Dam in Aswan and the Suez Canal. With this rapid growth, the daily energy requirements of Egypt increased dramatically, from about 2,000 megawatts in 1968 to more than 22,000 megawatts today. The Egyptian Ministry of Electricity, through the East Delta Electricity Production Company, released tenders for two fast-track 500-megawatt gas-fired power stations. Al-Shabaab, to be operational in May 2011, and Damietta, to be operational by June 2011, for a total value exceeding 600 million US dollars. It was later decided that Al-Shabaab plant will house 1,000 megawatts of power production. Kharafi National's offer was superior to offers by Ansaldo and General Electric in cost and delivery time while meeting all the quality requirements. Upon signature of the contracts, Kharafi National went into full mobilization, taking a big Cairo hotel as its headquarters even before the company's headquarters were established, turning this hotel into a beehive of meetings and planning, including interviewing around 4,000 Egyptian nationals in one week. To meet the aggressive timeline, the engineering was executed in two parallel tracks, the power island design and the balance of plant design. The Kharafi National Logistics Team successfully delivered huge quantities of the equipment to Al Shabab and Damietta power plants safely and on time. It was a challenge to provide both sides with the required material to meet the accelerated construction. We booked all the available ships, nine from Europe, six from China, and five from Jabal Ali, United Arab Emirates. This included approximately 3,400 material packages with total weight of more than 17,000 tons and 82,000 cubic meters of volume. The shipment utilized all the ports, including the Abadiya port, Ati Sukhna, Bamiyata port, Port Said port, Alexandria port, and Safaga ports. Some of the critical items had been shipped by air to save time. At the same time, Harafi National started to transfer special construction equipment from Kuwait, United Arab of Emirates, such as the specialized automated Nicholas trailers, cranes, and man lifts. The Power Island design covered all related civil and infrastructure works, including the turbine and generator pedestals, all auxiliary skid foundations, as well as the main and auxiliary transformers foundations. 
The balance of plants design covered all related buildings, such as the GIS switchgear, GIS control, control building, low voltage and medium voltage substations, fire pump room and the required fuel and water tanks. On January 25, 2011, and with the first spark of the Egyptian revolution, the wheel was turning full speed. Progress was on schedule with over 5,000 staff working full shift on both sites. Demonstrations started, security became a major concern, banks and airports closed, and while other investors and contractors fled the country and their projects stopped, the team of the Egyptian Electricity Holding Company, the East Delta Electricity Production Company, the Power Generation Engineering and Services Company, and Kharafi National kept working, addressing daily challenges and finding creative ways to continue operations. The team had to cope with a very volatile and uncertain environment of curfew, roads closures, closed financial sector and banks, tenuous security and disrupted government services. Hand in hand, Kharafi National worked with the Egyptian military and their partners to secure the sites and transport of equipment and supplies, coming up with creative solutions to overcome all the obstacles and to continue operations and progress on site. The expertise and capabilities of highly qualified engineers and a labor force from Egypt and other countries were mobilized to keep the project moving forward. These remarkable efforts by the whole team continued for four months in a challenging environment after the transition of power on the 11th of February. The determination of each and every person involved was key in achieving the successful commissioning of the plant. The turbines were synchronized to the national grid and the plants were commissioned within seven months. The Shabab project had an extremely aggressive and fast track timeline. Therefore, all activity was scheduled and planned to be around the clock. All project requirement and resources as planned to be in 24-7 phases, like transportation, manpower, material, storing, safety, and security. This feat is testimony to the determination of the people of Egypt and all those involved in delivering the plant on time and with excellence. As the summer of 2011 approached, the full capacity was connected to the grid to provide the required stability. This provided the needed power to light and cool the homes of Egyptians and power industries in the summer of 2011. Kharafi National is proud to have been part of this exciting chapter in the history of the great country of Egypt in 2011.